clay and you can see that they've slumped really badly and what's happened is that all the weight of the water from rainfall that sat on the top has saturated the cliff and that's caused the cliff to slump over time and as you can see it's eroded really 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 badly now if we look down here exposed and therefore they're eroding a lot faster as a result of all the management that's been happening down here. So there is absolutely no management along this part of the beach. There's the sea and there's the cliffs and you can see that the cliffs have eroded really really badly. So the reason that they've eroded really badly is because they're really exposed to the sea and they're made of clay which means that it erodes very very quickly and when it gets wet it gets full of water and it slumps. Also if you turn around down that part of the beach there's loads of coastal management, there's loads of rock groins and they're trapping a load of the sediment so that less can come down this way. So these cliffs are really really soft and what I'll, I'll show you is exactly what the sea does. Very simply, the sea erodes the soft rock very, very, very easily and it's just crumbling in my hands. So you can clearly see that the water wouldn't have to take too much effort in order to get rid of this. Okay, I'm going to stay out, come out the way. So what should happen is the material should move along the beach like this. The swash brings it up with the prevailing wind, the backwash brings it down. The swash brings it up and the backwash brings it down. What's, exactly, but what's actually happening is that sometimes when a big, big groin or a big wooden groin or a rock groin is put into place, it means that all of this sediment that's moving along the beach gets trapped by a groin and it builds up. And as a result, this part of the beach, which I'm stood on right now, becomes really exposed and therefore gets eroded really, really badly by the sea. And the cliffs that we've got behind us show exactly this process happening. The rock groin here has trapped all of these stones, which would have been a natural defence if they'd been here. That would have meant that the coast wouldn't have been eroded as badly. But unfortunately, they're all trapped here, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, so I've walked a little bit further along this beach where the cliffs are eroding really badly and they've put down some material here. They've put down some shingles, some sand and some pebbles and that's called beach repellishment. And the local council have done this because they realise that these cliffs are in danger of crumbling really, really fast. So by putting this shingle here and replenishing the beach, that absorbs some of the energy from the waves and stops these cliffs eroding quite so quickly.